Hello and welcome to Aladdin Part 2. I am named Pending and I say Part 2 because we've already played Part 1. Uh, for those who haven't seen it, it's available on my YouTube channel. So, in Part 1 we pretty much went through what I would think would be the half point of the game. Um, with various pieces of success and non-success, such as my jumping being poor and several continues and what have you, but we got there in the end. Um, that being said, um, we almost didn't get there in the end. Um, no one's seen the, uh, the edit screen that we had from the last one, but safe to say that it gave um, my editor quite some nightmares trying to piece together what was meant to go where and things like that. The audio seemed to go out of sync with the game. It it created quite a nightmare for our for my um, I would say team of editors, but there's only really one person currently editing my uh, playthroughs, and we just hope that this one doesn't go the same way because um, it was an absolute nightmare. Anyway, is the safe is, is the only way we can put it really. So I'm just playing through here, trying to get as many coins and as rocks as possible. Um, not coins even. We're trying to get keys. Duh. Um, uh, just so that um, we can open up all of the places that we need and the rocks are actually important because they give you about two and a half three seconds worth of breathing space these guards obviously don't want you in the castle because well you're not a legit prince really so because of that they just don't really want you there and these rocks if you use them correctly they will well, they will slow they won't slow the guards down they will, well, they'll pause them a bit, uh, but they won't really slow them. If anything, it actually speeds them up, um, because they, they kind of come back to life and they like realise, oh, hang on, why have I just been stunned for a bit? And I've also just lost a key, left a key as well. Try and go back for that. There we go. Yeah, so you can actually keep up to ten rocks, but you can only keep one key. Don't know why that is, but that is the case. So, for instance, I had to open that door before I collected that key there. Otherwise, that just wouldn't have worked. So, I'm just going back through because I remember there was a few doors this I didn't open. I should have probably opened. Well, if I had the keys, I probably would have, and I didn't. So, there we go. So, I, I, I'm, I'm still having a problem with these nightmare stairs because. You have to. I, I'm pressing up and left to go up right stairs, so it's just a bit weird. He's. You've got to do that. He has to open that uh, checkpoint door, pad pressure thingy. Otherwise, you can't go anywhere. Right. And I also know there's a key up here as well, so I'll get that one. And then up left on the upright stairs. There's a security princess, prince guard thing around here somewhere. There he is. Hi there. Good night now. I'll get you on the way back as well. And good night again. See, dizzy for about three seconds. And then they kind of race around realising that they shouldn't have been dizzy. And then they come back to life. And if you're there when they come back to, then they're going to catch you, unfortunately. It's great though, because you can go so many places, like I did earlier on, without actually alerting the guards. But because the back is turned, they can't see it. It's, it's almost like um, Metal Gear Solid in that respect. Um, but uh, I suppose it's useful for certainly for S Sega who and Disney who made this game together. It probably was an easy way for them to, to get alertness. But I'm, I'm not being exactly quiet while going through this. Uh, palatial castle, but I also disagree with the amount of rocks that are in this place. I don't think housekeeping are doing their job, you know, people. But that's the end of that level. I also think they need to call maintenance as well. If that many things are falling from the floor chandelier-wise, you really need to look into that. Anyway, here we are, in front of Jaffa Cake again. And uh, I'm not going to go through all this because... I'm, I'm not going to read it all because obviously you can read yourself if you want to. And, um. Yeah, basically, you don't trust me, blah blah blah. And 
then, yeah, that, that, that happens. And then I think she comes in in a, a bit of a pissy mood somewhere as well. Wrong. Yeah, here we go. I mean, can you see that's the way she stormed in there? You know she's not going to be happy about it, but all, I've, all I'm going to say is I'll show you my magic carpet. Oh, yeah, that'll get you there. But she's not a prize be won, but you will like my carpet. It's magical. Where are you going? Come with me if you want to live. There's a lot of talking in this section, isn't there? So out of nowhere... Oh, hang on. Jack Cake's back again. And he doesn't even know my name. I mean, this guy, seriously, he gets you to go into a cave, get him goodies, and then he's he's pissy like that again. I mean, I mean, yeah, all right, he's not meant to notice me, but still. Ali Ababwi. Mm. No, that's a tiger, dude. Got a wrong person. Must be at Mike Tyson's house. Ah, oh, no, that's a princess. I told you, show her your magic carpet, dude. Yeah, see, carpet. The tag can't come along, though. Well, alright, I will do, but I'll be on with my magic carpet. A back to the future moment, if ever there was one. Apart from my magic carpet's not a DeLorean. I mean, it could be, I suppose. I don't know what make it is. I don't know. I don't know if they make cars and carpets. Could do. Duh. He's not Darren Brown or something, you know. Come on. Too much talking now. I'm losing the action. Is it safe? Well, no. Not if you fall off in mid air. I don't know. And no airbags either, or, or seatbelts. There's, there's really nothing that could keep you on this carpet. Uh oh, think she's starting to realise it might be you, Aladdin. Just get on, man. Come on. And so we're back to the same kind of level we were at the very first level and uh, the the magic carpet ride out of the cave. So there's geese, there's, there's horses, there's UFOs, there's shoot lightning out here. Uh, there's the horsey. There's pyramids. There's wind. Oh, there's, there's uh, tornadoes. So some freakish we we uh, weather we're having here. I mean, also, I didn't know that horses could jump as tall as pyramids or as high as pyramids. There's that lightning for you. And these go in weird... See, that, that that's a weird direction to go in, really. I'm going to die. Oh, yeah, and there's the crash. I told you, no airbags. Damn. Just can't believe it. Also, you can uh, hit into these uh, buildings as well, apparently. It doesn't look like it, you could, but you can. Uh, they are part of the background, but you can also hit into them. I'm not getting hit by his lightning again. Not the first time. I, I, I don't see the point in having that horse, really. Yes, he can jump quite high, but there's only one of him. Uh, it must have taken more programming for them to do that than it was actually worth while doing, really. But who am I to judge? Fuck her off, man. I love that loaf of bread, though. There we go. That might be enough to get me through this level. I'm, I mean, I actually did play this level um, off, off off camera, just trying to see how I would actually handle it. And I handled it perfectly well. Didn't crash once. Got through first time. Like, I really should be able to do, but this time around, obviously, I had a bit of a problem. And we're going to land at a Chinese takeaway. More talking. Wonderful. Oh, just skip through that. Sorry about that.
Well, obviously he didn't. You liar. Not just that, but why did you have to sneak around the palace? Makes not no sense at all, bro. Fireworks. Obviously. Duh. And DeLorean away! After a kiss. You're back for the tiger there. Oh, dude. Yeah, I can't run away from that one, unfortunately, either. What are you going to do, exactly? Toss me off cliff? Yeah, well, you did do that, so... I'm assuming I'm meant to be at the... Why would you... Come on, it's a magical lamp and you toss it into the ocean knowing that there's not really much I can do. But, hang on, I might have a genie who can help out. Duh! Again, can't really unless you're untimey. Where's the lamp, by the way? You only left because you made me. Yeah, I got a food bomb. Yeah, because you threw my magical genie in with me. Uh oh, he's a, he's a lovely. I have a feeling I'm going to have to fight him here. Hey, guess what? This could be a while, this one. Might need to concentrate on this one because you can fire a bit of everything at you here. Oh, you don't you do that, you poxy so and so. Yes. Right, focus. Almost in focus. Almost had pottery dropping on me again, or chandeliers, whatever they are. Yeah, chandeliers. Seriously, someone call maintenance. Also, someone call maintenance because there's fires on the floor and electrical things going off in here. This is not safe for anyone. Prince or Prince, or not Prince. Or Jaffa Cake. Oh, I'm getting the hang of it now. Oh, I'm not getting the hang of it now. Oh, come on now, I'm not getting the hang of it anymore. I should know better than to say that I'm getting the hang of something because that is when I die. Come on, you little Jaffa King. Oh, dear God. If you have kids, make sure that, they sh that they're shown some games that you grew up with because I can almost guarantee you my kids will be and they're probably going to say, oh, it looks crap and all that, but and, and it probably does, but... Oh, come on now! How am I going to get past that? So the idea is more or less to stay in front of Jaffa, isn't it? And we'll give it a go, but uh, he's going to lighten me a lot and fireball and I'm really not sure how to get past this one, actually. But, never fear, I will continue to persevere. Hey! Oh, you... Tosser! <sighs> Two OP. Okay, come on... Jaffa Kick. See, stay at the back seems like the logical step for me, because that way you can get away with getting away from most of what he throws at you. You know, you've got time to respond to it. But then there's that part where there's pottery or chandelier or whatever falling from the sky. And and it's in the middle of a jump. I wouldn't care, but I think it's right near the end as well. Oh, come on! You've got to make that jump. You've got to make that jump. Oh. There are no words. I'll have recurring nightmares about this. 
Oh, come on, man! <sighs> Seriously? My editor is going to be so annoyed when he, when he gets this. Come on, just get it, just get it, just get it, come on. Don't make any stupid mistakes. Jump over everything you can find. Just jump and make sure you make the jumps. The, the important, the easy ones. Come on. Come on, man. You can do this. Yes! Oh! I can't believe that. Ha! Get you! Oh, I'm going to make you pay for this, Jaffa Cake. I am making you pay for this, mate. Get off my lamp. Well, your guard must have known, because he threw it in after me when I went to the ocean hangout that I hang out at occasionally, apparently, from that time. Oh, no. Yeah, but what about that um, senior advisor position that you've got with that Jaffa guy? Sure, that can't be it. Uh oh, I don't. I don't like the look of that parrot, you know. He knows too much. See, don't leave, don't leave your your your, your silverware and and, and and pottery and things like that around because people will nick him, and he did. Aladdin, he said it. Well, that was annoying. Hey, magic carpet, though. Still got magic carpet. Well, technically, you haven't killed me. I mean, you have, but let the record show he hasn't. Well, he has, but I'm going to beat him, so... Won't matter in the end. What now? What now? Oh. Oh, it's never taken again. Oh, of course. Oh, come on. But now it sounds got him. I really can't remember this game that well. Well, that one well. <laughs> die, die, die! Oh, he stopped me from coming. And then he turns into a cobra. So 
so close, so close, so close. I guess I've got to get him out of the screen then would be my guess. Hang on, have I just done it? That was way too easy. That was easier than actually I have to chase down the whole... I knew it wasn't going to be that easy. I'm pretty sure he's used all of his wishes, you know. Yeah, make him a genie and then trap him in the lamp. Oh, you can't because you'll be in there. You'll be busy then, won't it? Uh oh, great genie. in the lamp uh... ah I'll tell you what but you didn't see that come did you huh <laughs> <laughs> don't rub it that's what he wants in that case that was actually quite an easy um boss level to have really so I'm quite chuffed with that but considering I had to uh, chase down a hallway to, to get to Jaffa uh, that is really really annoying considering how many times I died or didn't depend upon the edit points ha 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 Yeah. No, you can't. That wouldn't be Disney poetic justice, my Bobby. Also blue as well, mate. Ah, something days back. Yeah, but in reality, he won't be. get married. Hang on, surely if he's not a genie anymore he can't even do things to himself. Whatever. Well, he's waving goodbye. There's some sort of credit system looks like it's going to be underway soon. So, I'll just leave it as this. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I'm so, so very, very pleased that that's over. Um, certainly that, that hallway thing with Chaffer Cake, it, it's oh, it's really left me... Uh, that's, that's a real bad taste in my mouth. But, my first um, complete Let's Play. Uh, series so uh, very happy about that as well I'm sure I'll uh, come back with something uh, also exciting and also want to complete as the kid is for you as well but until then 
My name is Name Pending, and thank you for watching.